good, man. They sure do listen to some crappy music. I sure do, yeah. You say there are like five bands or artists that somebody needs to check out these days. Well, hell yeah. We've always got our go to, you know, Leonard Skinner. Sure. That'd be one. Of course, I love Hank Jr. But there are some decent guys, you know, right now. I love Morgan Wallen. And I love Cole Wetzel. A lot of people don't quite know who that is. Cole Wetzel, K-O-E, Wetzel, W-E-T-Z-E-L. They check him out. He's a good dude and got a concert coming up in Alabama. I don't know, in Franklin, excuse me, next month, April. Uh, I mean, of course, the classics, you know. I mean, Merle Haggard, you can't go wrong with Merle. Uh, George Jones, and then when it comes to rock, I mean, of course, I was always a hard rocker when I grew up, you know, like ACDC, Led Zeppelin. Uh, Leonard Skinner. Uh, I mean, there's so many on the mission. I love, you know, I always liked uh, Lover Boy. I like Boston. Boy. Yeah. Oh, you throw me off. That yeah. One, like Boston. Yeah. yeah. I like right. it. What's number one? Number, number one, one artist of all time. I've got to stick with Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner, number yes, one. Yes, sir. All right, third here. Going to town that damn week. I like that. That didn't stand a chance. <laughs> What's your club action? Yeah. Uh, it's inappropriate. We're just over here talking about music. What's your five <clears throat> top five artists that you saw? Oh, you talking about how, you know, these youth of today, their music sucks. So what's five? <laughs> artists that you would say check it out well, I only listen to new music I'm not saying they're not good music <laughs> I'm just saying the youth yeah. today have terrible taste too. so I don't know if I had to pick my top 5 all time or top 5 right now let's do all time all time this is your top 5 oh years. man that's tough well, I definitely would have I'll include Tool in a perfect circle as a combo Anything Maynard does. Yeah. Uh, my all time favorite band is called Broken Social Scene, and they're a Canadian band. <clears throat> and I would probably say The Districts, they're a band from Pennsylvania. They do like a kind of harder rock style. And then The Hubbards. They're not as known as any of the others. And then, uh, The Cure. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. For sure, if I had to pick one band, Broken Social Scene. What's your top five, man? Uh, I can't go, it can't all be 21st century. Let's see. I don't know. Mine are all for me. Okay. okay. Uh, I would have to say top five artists uh, would be, I'd say the Colt. Uh, uh, you guys can like I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's all right. Well, I'd say the Colt, um, U2, um, a little electronic music, LCD sound system. That's way on my list. Uh, let's see. Shoot. All right, a newer band. Well, they've been around for about 10 years now. Future Island, excellent band. Uh, let's see, my fifth band. Who would that be? Yeah, I'd probably have to go with Merle Haggard. He has a soft spot in my heart. I finally got to see him live before he died. So. That's a pretty good list. Yeah. <laughs> so we're doing the top five. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm gonna tell you the real top five. All right, the Colt. I saw Chris started with that earlier, which clearly means that's probably the greatest rock and roll band in the world, even though most people wouldn't. Yeah. What about Gear Driven? Hey, what? It's gonna be in the top ten. <laughs> Gear Driven is is my band. I was in some number of years ago. But I would say uh, ACDC, 
the greatest straight up blues rock band of all time. Early Van Halen, not that, not that Sammy Hagar crap. Sammy Hagar's best. No, yeah. I'm saying not that Sammy Hagar crap. Sammy Hagar's best. The early stuff with David Lee on lead vocals. I say Stevie Ray Vaughan uh, and Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson, which that makes six, but I'm cheating. Willie Nelson's a writer. 